Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super exciting, how to create a consistent character using Zyne.ai. If you've ever found it challenging to get AI to generate the same character across different images, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, we're gonna break it all down for you step by step. We'll start by designing a unique character from scratch, and I'll show you the ins and outs of the training process to make sure Zyne.ai recognizes and replicates your character, and the fun doesn't stop there. We'll take it a step further by using our trained AI model to create a visually consistent story, so you can bring your character to life in different scenarios. But that's not all. I'll also teach you how to create a consistent character for social media, and explore how you can monetize your AI creations. Whether you're looking to build your brand, sell custom designs, or just create engaging content, I'll show you how AI can help you make money while doing what you love. So um, if you're into digital art, storytelling, or curious about how AI can take your social media game to the next level, this tutorial is for you. Get ready to unleash your creativity and let's get started. All right, here we are on the main screen. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. Super simple. Just click right here and let's give our project a name. Let's call it Animation Project. Now, before we jump in, you'll notice we have a few different aspect ratios to choose from. We've got one by one, three by four, and nine by 16. But for this tutorial, I'm going with 16 by nine because I love how it looks for landscape videos. Of course, you can customize it however you like. Um, once that's set, we'll go ahead and apply it. Now, on the left side of the screen, we have all the key tools and features. This is where the magic happens here. We have tools like text to image, image to image, and the hottest feature right now, consistent characters. This is a game changer for creating AI generated videos with characters that stay the same across different scenes. This is a game changer for making AI generated videos look more polished and professional. We also have some cool editing tools like AI video generation, AI editor, face enhancement, upscaling and background removal, which come in handy when fine-tuning our characters. <laughs> Creating a consistent character. So, the first thing we need to do is generate our main character, the star of our animation, um, in the consistent characters section, we have three options. Generate images, this lets us create a character from scratch. Insert a character. If we already have a character, we can upload and modify it. Character sheet. This is what we'll use to train our system so it understands how our character should look from different angles. To get started, we need to upload three to four images of our character from different views. I've already created some prompts with the help of my friend ChatGPT to generate my characters, so let's paste it here. Um, it's important to emphasize that in the end, he needs to create four consistent views of the same character. A front view, a left side view, a right side view, and a back view. Um, okay, now that our images are in place, we need to generate three to four different views of the character. Front view, left side view, right side view, back view. This step is super important because it helps the AI recognize our character from every angle, making animation smoother and more realistic. Let's keep the aspect ratio at 16 by nine and the generation mode on normal. Let's go ahead and generate the character. It might take a few moments, but once it's done, we should see our new consistent character. Oh, look at this. It turned out great. We've got two different versions of our character, and if we want, we can tweak it by generating more variations. Let's click on one and create a slight variation to explore other options. It looks like we ended up with just three images of our character, but that's totally fine. We can still use them to train the AI, and that's a nice variation. You can create as many variations as you want. Okay, now that we have our final version, Let's move on to the next step. Preparing our character for animation. Now that we have our character, 
we need to separate it into layers so we can split the character views into different parts individually. First we go to layers and duplicate our character layer two times. Next, we use the crop tool to separate different parts, making sure there's enough space around them so they don't get cut off. We adjust each layer carefully and click hide. Let's do the same for image two and three. Let's go ahead and do the same thing again. And don't forget to hit adjust to finalize it. Click hide every time you finish with an image. And let's do our next image. Hit crop. Adjust the image to your liking. Make sure it's not too tight. Um, once you're done, go ahead and save it. I'll save it as PNG. Let's do the same for all the images. Right now we have three separate images of our character, which will allow us to animate it more smoothly. <laughs> Training the AI with our character. Alright, now it's time to train the AI to recognize our character. We go to Character, then Generate Images, click Choose a Character, and then Build your character. Here, we have two options. Use a text description to create a new character, or upload our own images to train a custom character. Since we already have our images, we'll upload them and name our character. Let's call him Handy Tiger. Let's go ahead and upload the three images that we just created. Um, now, we just hit start training and wait about 20 to 30 minutes for the system to process our character. Once training is complete, we'll be able to use Handy Tiger in different scenes while keeping his look consistent across all animations. Now let's try creating a second character, but this time using a more automated approach. I already have a prompt ready that I crafted with the help of ChatGPT. I'll paste my prompt here, but you can ask ChatGPT to generate the prompt of your own character describing how you like it. And we'll use it to generate a full body character sheet. This will give us four consistent views, front, left side, right side, and back view. For the style, let's go with Flux 1, aspect ratio 16 by 9, and for the generation mode, let's keep it normal. Alright, let's generate it and see how it turns out. Here we go. And we've got our adorable police character, Bunny. Uh, looks pretty good, but I think we can improve it a bit. Let's tweak the settings and try again. Let's keep the same style, flux one, same settings, and hit generate. And here it is! I like this version much better. This character is really coming to life. To automatically crop the image, simply head over to build character and choose either image one or image two. Now to speed things up, we'll use the system's auto cut feature. Yeah, this will automatically crop and separate the different views of our character into individual images. We'll name our character Bunny and start training. This process will take about an hour, so we'll let it run while we move on to the next step. Now that our characters are set, let's start generating scenes. I've already created a simple eight scene story where our tiger Handy Tiger is fixing a window. Um, each scene specifies a background to keep things consistent. If you want to learn how to create short story scenes, check out my video on making short stories with AI. I'll drop the link in the description. Let's create the first scene. First, let's select our fully trained character, Handy Tiger, from the list. We'll copy the scene descriptions and paste them here then select our 16 by 9 aspect ratio for a cinematic look. Let's hit generate and uh, see what we get. Here it is, Handy Tiger in action. We've got two images and they both look fantastic. Now let's move on to the second one. Let's generate the second image for our second scene. First, let's choose a character. How about Handy Tiger? Now let's add some action. I'll copy this prompt and tweak it a bit. Tiger is standing on a ladder, fixing a window, looking down at the sidewalk. Perfect. Now let's set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, but of course you can change it to whatever you prefer, like one by one or nine by 16. All right, let's hit 
generate and see what we get. Okay, awesome. Here's our result. Now, this isn't exactly Bonnie, the bunny we were going for, but no worries, we can fix that. Um, next, we're going to replace this character with a new character, our bunny. Go to insert character, click to and select lasso tool. With the lasso tool, I'm going to select this character uh, from the characters list. Let's select Bonnie. We paste the prompt here, edit it, click generate, and let's see if Bonnie appears the way we want. And there we have it, our two characters in the same scene, Handy Tiger and Bunny, and there we go. Bonnie is in the scene holding her donut and looking at Handy Tiger. Perfect. Now, let's download this image. We'll save it as a PNG, and that's it. Our second animation style image is ready, and this is how we create all the following scenes until we complete all eight generated scenes. Transforming images into videos. All right, we're done creating all our images. Now it's time to turn them into videos. First, click on AI Video Generator. It's super simple. We have different models to choose from, like Kling, AI, 1.6, Minimax, Hilo, Luma, Runway, um, all these video models. Now let's pick an image. Let's upload the first image. Click here, select your image, and we're all set. For the video model, I'm going with Kling AI since it gives the best results. Um, it creates smooth, high quality videos with ease. Um, next, we need to enter a prompt for this I already generated some prompts with ChatGPT, so I'll just copy and paste one here. Um, if you want to learn how to create awesome image and video prompts, I've got you covered. I'll drop the link in the description for my tutorial on how to do it. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on our latest tutorials. Now let's hit generate and see what we get. And there we have it, our first video clip. Let's check it out. Look at that. Tiger is perfectly repairing the window. That shot looks amazing. Now, we just click download and save it. We'll repeat the same steps for the next clips. Up next, we'll generate our second shot, Bonnie passing by. Let's select the image. Paste the prompt, tweak our prompt, and hit generate. And that's how we create all the clips for our little story, just following these same steps. Now let's watch the final video. And that's the final video. It's looking pretty good, but there are a few areas where the objects and locations could use a bit more refinement. With a little extra work, it can definitely be polished up nicely. <laughs> Creating a consistent AI influencer. First, we need to choose a model. I'm choosing Flux 1 because I love how it generates images with great detail and style. So we select it and then paste the prompt I already generated with ChatGPT. Now, super important, make sure to request all four views so our character stays consistent. Front view, uh, left side view, right side view, back view. Next, we go into the creative settings. I always set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Keep the generation mode on normal and then hit generate. Let's see what we get. Okay, here are our images, but um, wait, we're missing the front view. Uh, no problem, we can create a variation of image number two and see what comes up. Boom, this version looks great, so let's download it and move on to the next step. 
Now it's time to turn our image into a full AI character. We go to build character and give it a name, let's call her Emma. The system will automatically split the image into four different views. All we have to do is hit start training and let it do its thing. This part takes about 20 minutes so we can close the window and take a break. By the way, this step is super important because it ensures our character looks the same in every image we generate later. Now we will generate images with Emma. All right, Emma is fully trained and ready to go. Now let's put her into different scenarios. Um, first we go to generate images, choose a character, select Emma, and use a prompt I already wrote with ChatGPT. Let's paste it here. Let's start by placing her on a rooftop. We just replace the woman in the prompt with Emma. Choose landscape option. Leave generation mode at normal. Hit generate. And here we go. Wow, Emma looks amazing on this rooftop. As you can see, she has the exact same face and body type as the images we use to train our model. Um, but let's try another setting. How about a botanical garden? As always, we keep the same settings. Hit generate. And there it is. Um, the same Emma, looking great. We've got a front view and a side view looking good. Let's keep going. In a new scene, let's do something different. Maybe a selfie with friends at a cafe. I've pasted the prompt, and now I'll make a few tweaks. Generate the image, and look at that. Perfect group selfie with Emma right in the middle. Finally, let's put her in an ad for a beauty product. I've crafted a prompt, make a few tweaks here. We generate the image, and there she is, looking just like a model in a real campaign. If you ever want a different version, you can tweak the prompt and regenerate the image. That's it. Now you know how to create, train, and use an AI character in just a few steps. And there you have it. Now you know how to create consistent characters with Zine AI and bring your story scenes to life. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI powered design tips. Got any questions or cool creations to share? Drop them in the comments, I'd love to see what you come up with, and if you want to try Zine AI and for yourself, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.